All right, this is Marty of Marty's Diesel, and I'm gonna go over some more technical information as well whenever you're trying to do these O-rings that are on the oil rail here. So the, this is one of the head plugs that I took out from right here, and you're gonna to wanna to take the old O-ring and get it off of there, use like a pick or something like that. And then what I normally do is I take this and I give it like a little uh, brake clean bath. Uh, so go ahead and show you the video down here. Normally it sits in here. I've already had those things soaking in there for a little while. And what I want you guys to do is make sure you don't wire reel these things. Some people will take these because they're all nasty and oily or whatever, and they'll take them and they'll go and they'll uh, uh, wire reel them. You don't want to do that because they'll go from looking like this from 1995, and then they're going to look like a straight up piece of rust within six months after you do that. So don't wire reel them. Resist the urge. Uh, basically, just let them sit inside of uh, some brake clean for a little while. Then take them out, blow them off, clean them off with a rag, and I promise you, no matter how grimy, dirty, nasty those things look, this is what they're going to look like once I get done with that. Now, there's a couple things that you need to do while that thing's soaking. You need to take the same, you know, style pick, and you need to make sure you get all of the old O-ring and or Loctite and or anything else that's wet inside this hole taken care of. So, I'm going to just blow this out a little bit. And you got to make sure that that thing is completely dry. And right now it's not completely dry. So I'm going to just get this O-ring on right now. And then I'll pause the camera and I will get the, uh, the hole like completely dry. And you're going to find out why here in a second. But these are the orange O-rings. They are the o, uh, OEM O-rings. They are number five ORB. I have used the ones from the hydraulic shop. I don't know why this is, but the Ford ones, for whatever reason, always seal better. And I have learned the same thing. These O-rings over here, uh, I've, I've had best luck, or I've had the best luck out of the OEM O-rings. This particular truck, I'm putting in the ones from the hydraulic shop, and I'm going to keep a close eye on them. But he's going to get OEM O-rings everywhere else along here. So I'm going to pause this video, and I'm going to uh, clean this port out till it is 100% dry. All right, so I went ahead and made sure this port was as clean as it could be. It is also dry. I also put a little bit of lubrication on this O-ring. I used a little bit of trans gel. You can use, you know, whatever you want, but make sure that it stays on the actual O-ring itself. The next thing I do is I go and I get like a little tiny bit of this uh, red Loctite and I smear it onto these uh, threads, especially like the lower couple threads here. Give it a minute. <laughs> I just had it working a second ago. All right, take two. I'm going to get a little bit of Loctite on here. You don't have to use a lot. That's honestly more than enough. Okay. You actually want to clean off any excess. Now, the reason that you want to use this uh, thread Loctite, this lock thread, <laughs> I'm saying it wrong, but I'm sitting here focused on this is because when you go to install this and it's uh, you know experiencing all the vibration that this engine does, those fittings have been known for starting to come loose. So you want a little bit of lubrication on the actual O-ring and then you want the thread locker on the actual thread itself. And all you gotta do is install that fitting, just snug it, okay? You want the lubrication on the O-ring so that it doesn't mess up on its way in, and then you want the thread locker to actually keep the threads uh, nice and tight in the actual head so that it can't come loose. Because once it comes loose, it'll blow the O-ring out. When it blows the O-ring out, you're going to end up with a big old leak. That's all. All right, so it just so happens I haven't cleaned this one out yet, so I actually want to show you guys uh, what I mean by cleaning up the threads. You can see there's uh, some old Loctite in there. You want to get that out. It's just like when you do injector cups. If you don't get the old Loctite out of there, you have an uneven sealing surface, and this is where the O-ring sits, okay? So you watch me right here. I'll try to get this blocked out of here, or knocked out of here. See that right there? Okay, you want to try to get that stuff out of the way. 
you want to have a good sealing surface right here for the o-ring this has got to hold back like 3,000 psi it's no joke so you gotta get the old loctite out of there and and or any old o-ring make sure this is all nice and clean and once again we're actually going to lubricate the o-ring and then we're going to put a little bit of loctite on the threads this is an aftermarket fitting and to be honest with you i put the uh the o-ring on the wrong side while i wasn't even paying attention this is not the side that goes in but either way, this is where it's going to go. Just like that, we're lubricating the O-ring, putting Loctite on the threads. We're back. So, I got a little bit of lubrication on the O-ring, and then what I'm going to do is take a little bit of Loctite, and I'm going to put it on these bottom couple of threads here. As you put it on these bottom threads, it's going to work its way up. And as before you don't want to put too much on so i'm actually going to pull some of that off of there you only need a little bit not a whole lot and we're going to go ahead and get those things installed those things we're going to get that fitting installed I'll put it in as far as i can hand tight and then let me go grab it should be a five eighths and just snug it down you don't have to kill it but you gotta make sure that hole is clean I put a little bit of lube on the O-ring, I put a little bit of Loctite on the threads, and I also do the same thing uh, with the uh, high pressure oil pump fittings as well. I'm actually gonna like take those back out from where they are, because I did a little video earlier. I'll do the same thing. A little bit of lube goes on them and a little bit of Loctite goes on them.